Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, this is going to be your weekend edition, yes? General energy reading for the weekend of Friday, March 8th through Sunday, March 11th. No, 10th. I'm sorry, March 10th. Right? Yes. <laughs> March 8th through March 10th. I hope everyone has had a good week. It is Friday. Woohoo! Friday, Friday. I hope everyone's ready for the weekend. It should be fairly warm here in the city. It's going to be about 50 up until Sunday night, but you know, it should be fun, right? <laughs> um just a quick reminder. I am going to be at Om Shanti Bookshop today uh, in here on, in the East Village of New York City. It's on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue. If you would like to come by and hang out, get a reading, pick up some crystals, maybe pick up a, a, a card deck or maybe a nice book or something, or just come say hi, go ahead and do so. Um, Om Shanti, the link to the website is in the description box. I believe it's like towards the bottom. It's in the description box of this video. So if you would like some more information about where they are located, you can check out their website. <clears throat> Om Shanti, that's A-U-M, shantibookshop.com. Um, I will be there from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Also, I'm thinking of doing a little bit of happy hour tonight, a Friday happy hour. That sounds like fun. Um, I don't get out of the bookshop until five o'clock. So uh, if, I, if I do happy hour, it'll probably be between like, it'll start like somewhere between like six or 6.30, something like that. Cause I just have to get home first. Um, other than that, uh, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can do that at divine underscore conversations and Facebook at divine conversations 2711. And yeah. So keep in mind that this is a general reading, okay? Um, and, and it's not specific to anything, love, sign, whatever, career or anything. This is just what spirit wants to discuss with us today. A little bit of insight as to what may be going on in your life. Um, going on around you energies are fluid so just because this is the message dated for this weekend that doesn't mean it has to apply only to this weekend okay it can apply to any time really uh, i really can past present future or it is a general reading so maybe it won't resonate with you at all who knows um and if you'd like a personal reading with me you can just go ahead and email me all of the information is in the description box below Okay, so let's just get to it, yeah? Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for Friday, March 8th through Sunday, March 10th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So let's see what we've got here for your weekend edition. Oh, also, I got this. I got uh, Virgo, Libra, and Scorpio done last night. You can find those March readings on my channel. And then I plan on having um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius done by tomorrow, Saturday. So stay tuned for that. Weekend edition, March 8th through the 10th. Weekend edition. What do we have going on, Spirit? What would you like to discuss with us for this weekend? March 8th through the 10th. Let's give this one more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got here. 
Thank you so much, Spirit. Best messages, please. Okay. All right. Okay. There we have it. Underneath the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. That's very nice. Um, and actually, that does seem to... That makes sense a little because you also have the Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles here. So, uh, lots of energy towards work, entrepreneurship. Um, you have the Two of Wands, which seems to be wanting to come out in the reverse. So maybe there's a decision, there's a decision that has been made here. Excellent. We have been in an energy of... Um, we have been in an energy of indecisiveness, of wanting to go in a different direction, or feeling like you need to go in a different direction, but not being able to make a decision. Now, I'm getting a few things. One, for some of you, this could be that you have been able to come to a decision, you've chosen a path, and now you're moving forward. For others of you, it feels like the opposite. It feels like you are still unable to make some sort of decision. If that is the case, if you're still unable to make a decision, you are, I think you're aware of why. Um, and there's a period of self-mastery or building preparation for the future. This doesn't, the fact that you, I mean, for some of you, it could, it really could be the fact, it could be that um, you really still don't know which direction you want to move in. Um, and you're working, I mean, this really doesn't feel bad, but it does feel like you're working pretty hard to uh, maintain, to move forward, to get what it is you're looking for, to prepare potentially for making a decision. It does feel like for the most part, other than for those of you that have already been able to make a decision and now you're on, you're working towards it, it does feel like this decision here, this choice of path to take is blocked in some way. And in that sense, you're just not ready to move in that new direction. So with the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, there is work that's being done. Oh, sorry, my tea's in the way. There's work that's being done in preparation for taking that new path, going in that new direction. All right, let's see what else we have here. Excellent. We have the Six of Wands, but we have the Seven of Swords with that. That's very interesting. And it's funny, I thought I did see the Six of Wands come out. Now, this actually doesn't have to be a bad thing. The Six of Wands coupled with the Seven of Swords. For some of you, for some of you, you're working on keeping up appearance here. And actually, that is something that I heard when I was talking about those of you that are not able to make a decision or, or choose a path right now. You're doing a lot of work to prepare, but also in the back of my head, I did hear Spirit say to keep up appearance, and that's absolutely what could be going on right now. With the Six of Wands and the Seven of Swords, okay? Um, the Six of Wands can be an energy of saving face, of, again, keeping up appearance, and that's deceptive, okay? It's not the truth of what you're actually going through. Now, there could be a plenty of reasons as to why you may be acting in that way. But this feels like it's personal. Like, it's, um, well, it would be personal, but what does that, what do you, what do you mean by that, Eric? <laughs> what it feels like for some, it feels like you are trying to protect some sort of reputation in a way 
or it feels like you know you're just really sensitive to the opinions of others and so you don't want to look i don't know crazy um you don't want to look like you've quote failed in some way um and if you are subject to harsh criticism you know to me that would be a sign of someone that you really probably don't want to be taking advice from um, because it's only going to put you down it's only going to lower your vibration you know what I mean we don't want that we really don't want that now for others of you on the other hand for on a more positive spin the six of wands and the seven of swords can be um, silent victories it can be celebrating on in, internally uh, what this feels like is you've come to, is is whoever is feeling is feeling this way has come to a position where they have something to be proud of um they've you've accomplished something whatever that is for you you've accomplished something you've overcome something but you're not really trying to make it a big deal um this is an energy of not wanting to basically make yourself a target for attack because you are celebrating whatever your um, achievement is. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I get it. I totally get it. Now, back to the situation in which you are unable to make a decision at this point still potentially there is victory coming but you may be deceiving yourself and feeling like it's not going to happen or it's just hidden it's hidden under circumstances you know the seven of swords could be um, yeah, it can be lying, deceive, deceiving, cheating, backstabbing, but it also could just be something that's hidden, you know, from sight. You can't really notice it. It's buried underneath a bunch of circumstances or muck or whatever. But there is a victory here. And for the most part, this victory feels like you're just overcoming your demons, basically. You're overcoming... Um, any sort of forces that are trying to put you down just by getting up and continuing, like getting up every day and, and going about your business and going about your routine. This Queen of Pentacles energy feels very humble, very grounded, very stable. There's a bit of sorrow in her heart, though just because of what she's seen, what she's experienced so far, you know, that kind of thing. But she's persevering and she's working hard, okay? Now, this doesn't have to be a woman. It can be, absolutely can be. But um, this is also just energy, okay? I don't really, I, I see the court cards more as energy and what they represent energetically rather than just gender but of course you know you know it could mean gender but uh stoicism very stoic this queen of pentacles demure not wanting to call too much attention to herself kind of just wanting to stay in the background right now and focus on the kids, the family, the home, that kind of thing. Um, for focusing on nurturance, loving yourself or being there for others, very much the caretaker, silent sufferer, but that's stoicism. But it's not like she's really suffering for the sake of suffering. She knows she knows what's going on around her. But that doesn't stop her. The question that I want to ask, though, in, in light of all of this energy, and this is a rhetorical question. I just want you to think about it. 
what is it that, how do I put this into words? What is it that you're wanting to accomplish? What is it that you're hoping to accomplish? What are you persevering towards? What are you continuing, continuing to fight for? And that's, that question is taking me to the Two of Wands here. It's taking my attention to this Two of Wands in reverse. What is it you wish to achieve? What is it that you desire to experience? What are you working so hard for? What does it mean to you? What would it mean for you to have it? Stoicism is a big energy coming from this queen of pentacles. This is a mother-like energy. This is a nurturing energy, a compassionate energy, a provider, a caregiver. I mean, she's a provider. She's just as much of a provider as the king of pentacles is. It's just they are, they express that in different ways, okay? You know, there is, the good thing about all of this is with this three of pentacles, there is always, no matter what you're going through, there's always an energy uh, or, or an opportunity to work on self-mastery, all right? Um, again, I just wanna, I just, I want you guys to ask yourselves the question, if this is resonating with you, I want you to ask yourselves the question, what is it that I'm working towards? And why do I want this so bad? I'm not going to lie, the Queen of Pentacles energy, she feels kind of heavy right now. And it's not, yes, okay, she's an earth sign. Earth is a heavy, is a heavy, dense energy, but this just feels like she's weighed down. In some, in, in some cases, she just feels very burdened. And maybe that's, I mean, the Ten of the ten of Wands hasn't come out. Maybe it will while we clarify, but maybe that's a good part, good part of the reason why you're unable to choose a direction, a new direction to move in, I guess you could say. Okay. All right. So let's get some clarification here. I'm using the Crystal Visions deck today just because I feel called to do so. And I, the first thing I want to clarify is this Two of Wands in reverse. You know, regardless of whatever is going on here, if you're working really hard for something that may not necessarily be trying to get you where you want to go or whatever, this three of pentacles energy is still having a sense of working, uh, of perfecting yourself, of, you know, of self mastery, of artistry in your own life. So you really don't think that you are, if you're in a, a, a tough position, things that aren't necessarily going your way, you're carrying a bunch of burdens that you may not necessarily want to carry any longer. Um, this is all, this all can be boiled down to efforts within the realm of self-mastery, okay? Honoring yourself more, being truer to yourself, uh, 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 fine-tuning the representation of your life that you wish to achieve. It's like stepping stones. It's all part of the journey, okay? Yeah, but stoicism, stoicism is the name of the game here. 
Now, in terms of that stoicism, you really could be, yeah, you really could, there is a lot of energy of um, keeping up appearance, keeping a brave face. Okay, well, let's get some clarification here. We're going to start with the Two of Wands in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse, please. The Ace of Swords in reverse. All right. The Four of Wands in reverse. Is this deck? It's upside down. Okay. The whole deck. Yeah, the whole deck was upside down. So we're going to turn that over. Um, interesting. So underneath the deck, you have the Queen of Wands. Okay. And with that, you have the Ace of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Cups. So the Ace of Swords is about truth, honesty, epiphany, seeing the truth of a situation. Okay, what I really feel like is happening here for the most part, especially if you're feeling blocked in this two of wands energy, not knowing which way to dire which, which direction to go in, not knowing which decision to make, there's still an energy of inner child healing or healing from the past, healing from past lives or, um, excuse me, um, from situations in childhood having to do with family, four of wands, and the home. It could be that your home, your current home environment is blocking you in some way. But all of this is giving to, like, the, the, the this healing that's happening here, this understanding, the realization that you may be coming to about the past, past lives, childhood, maybe your own children now. Um, all of that is giving rise to a boost or, yeah, a boost in confidence that I feel like is slowly building over time. It's like with this Queen of Wands energy. It's like you're slowly regaining your confidence or... Um, receiving confidence where you may not have had it in the past or working on building that confidence this queen of this queen of wands energy just feels like she's slowly gaining in strength this is confidence in the self magnetism attractive social exciting exuberant talented creative I just feel like it's slowly cultivating within this situation through whatever's going on surrounding the past. This has to, for some of you, this really has to do with your home. It's either, again, the past situation or current situations with the home. It's an energy of seeing things clearly from the past or even right now, but the home and the family life with the four of wands, seeing things clearly from the past. We're, oh gosh, okay, working through the past. And this is exactly part of the reason why I asked, I wanted to ask that question, the rhetorical question of what is it that you're working towards? What are you working so hard for? For some of you, this is a situation in which you're starting to realize that this is whatever direction you're moving in may not ultimately be the right direction for you. There may be circumstances that you come to realize that, oh, wait, I actually never really wanted to do anything like this. It's just what I was led to as a kid or something from the past, you know, under certain influences of people that maybe don't have that influence over you any longer. Or at least don't have that, their influence doesn't weigh that heavily on you any longer 
Yeah. But still, three of pentacles here, this is all in terms of self-mastery. Okay? Don't drown yourself in your work to escape the truth of what you're actually going through. For some of you, this specifically could be your mother here with this Queen of Pentacles energy. This Queen of Pentacles energy could represent the influencer that has gotten you started on this path to begin with, i.e. a mother or a mother type figure. But I do feel like it. this is also on a deeper level, this is the mother-like energy within you coming forward and giving you that nurturance and helping you give you that love and compassion and support to face this, see the truth of the situation with the Ace of Swords. And also the Four of so Wands, excuse me, the Four of Wands translates into your own foundation within you, okay? Your own personal sense of stability. Mm hmm Mm hmm Okay. So now, let's clarify the Six of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Because there's definitely an energy of keeping up appearance. But I also feel like on the flip side, there is a hidden victory here. that could be coming forward in a really unexpected way. Good gracious. Well, look at that. There's the 10 of wands. Yep, there's that 10 of wands and you have the seven of cups here underneath the deck. So yeah, there are some burdens here that you really don't need to be carrying. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we have the Queen of Pentacles again with judgment, but those two are reversed. So yeah, there is definitely an energy here and all of this fell on the Three of Pentacles, okay? And this is all while I am trying to clarify the Six of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So here's part of the backstory. There was a, a feminine figure or a mother-like figure. It could actually have been your mother. It could have been a grandmother. It could have been a mentor, a teacher, um, whoever. There was a feminine figure that led somebody, influenced someone to go in a certain direction with judgment, but that direction is not the right direction for this individual. Ten of Wands is upright in the face of the Queen of Pentacles and Judgment being in reverse. And that's on the Three of Pentacles. So that's falling on the Three of Pentacles because it's giving you a chance to master yourself. It's giving you a chance to identify, learn through contrast even, identify what it is you truly want and take the opportunity to follow that instead of following the will of someone else. Okay? Now, Six of Wands, Seven of Swords. We have Two of Cups, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Five of Swords, the Emperor. Wow. Then there's one last card here, and that is, ooh, the Nine of Swords. In reverse, though. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. So, okay, so there is an energy of someone wanting to take their power back. And I feel like slowly but surely you're getting into that energy. You have the Nine of Swords in reverse, the Nine of Wands upright, and the Emperor. Okay? Taking the power back letting go of the fear and the anxiety and being stepping into the master of your domain, stepping into being the master of your domain, right? Well, why is that happening? Two of Cups. 
uh, your own internal balance, balance of masculine and feminine within, coming into some sort of inner union. This is, this feels like whatever is happening here is a byproduct of this energies of coming into union within yourself. As you bring these pieces together, as you come into your own sense of inner union, a lot of the ways that someone may have influenced you to go in a different, in a wrong, we'll say, wrong is, is, is we'll put that in air quotes because there's not there i don't believe there's any such thing as right or wrong but because ultimately it's not the wrong direction because it's teaching you helping you identify what the right direction is but as what i'm seeing here with this two of cups is as your these two parts masculine and feminine whatever they come together okay they start to push out all of this stuff that was put in to your system by the outside, by, by individuals that were not yourself. You're not your own, not yourself. The ideas and wishes and desires of other people, the Ten of Wands, the burdens that you're carrying that are not yours to carry to begin with, the projections of other people. They start to become highlighted. They start to get pushed out. They get purged out. And so you deal with that. And so now there is absolutely a realignment of what direction you would like to go in because now you're really getting down to the nitty gritty, the truth of yourself. Ace of Swords. Okay? You have the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups in response or as a result. There is, there are energies of sabotage. There are energies of one-upmanship. Jealousy. Envy. Also, regret, remorse, shame, guilt. Now, some of you could be going through a situation in which you are feeling really guilty and sabotaging yourself because of that guilt. Because you're not living up to the expectations that someone or you're, that someone has put on you or you're not willing to work towards living up to those expectations any longer. I apologize for the noise, but that is a garbage uh, uh, a recycling truck. Oof. Okay. I mean, this is pretty rough. So, okay, all as a result, all of that is leading to a good deal of confusion with the Seven of Cups. And there is a lot that needs to be worked through in order to, under, to gain a greater understanding, in order to overcome this situation here. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to get some Oracle guidance now. We're going to start with the Whispers of Love to give you some loving encouragement for yourself. And then we're gonna close the reading with the Crystal Mandala, Mandala deck. Alrighty. Best message, please, Spirit, in terms of this reading here, how we can best show ourselves some good love. Good, good love, okay. All right, so the first card out, that's a face up actually. Wow, well underneath the deck you have the union of hearts. So ultimately what's really happening here is a, an inner sense of self-union, okay? Coming into union with yourself and that's beautiful. You have practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. That's not only compassion for yourself but compassion for the other people in this situation. Even though you might be a little resentful, just try and see how, from their point of view in whatever way that that is. That is easier said than done a lot, but it could help you to heal. Even if it's not just for that, if it's not for them, it's for yourself 
in easing some of the pain if you can work towards potentially seeing things from their point of view. At least saying, okay, well, given his or her circumstances, I guess I can see why they may be in this current state, okay? Why they may have pushed me in this certain direction, even though it wasn't right for me, okay? You've got, take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. We have spent some quality time together. And romance. Lavish the one you love with your personal attention and affection. This is all advice for yourself. So taking a chance on love, loving yourself, honoring yourself, but also having love and compassion for it others who may have influenced, influenced you. Spend some quality time together. Spend some quality time with yourself. Get to know yourself a little better. Take yourself out on a date. Take yourself to a movie. Have a nice meal or something. And listen to what your heart is, is, is trying to say. Romance. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. Again, lavish yourself with your own personal attention and affection. Because now is the time for you to do that. Okay, that's quite beautiful. All right, so closing message here from the Crystal Mandala deck. Try that again. Alrighty, guys. Closing message, please, Spirit. One card, best message for the weekend edition. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I don't know which one that was. I'm gonna start over. There it is. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Card number 17, Angel Bath Cole and Aquamarine, Authentic Voice. My, my. Wow. That's pretty perfect. Okay. All right. We bring you the gift of authentic voice. We want you to know your own truths and to speak them in your own way because you have something of value to share, your inner world, your unique viewpoint, and the person that you are. When you speak from your authentic voice, you help others relax, come out of their heads, into their hearts, and remember the truth of who they are as well. Your authentic voice doesn't have to sound like the voice of any other. It doesn't need to always be soft, although in its own way, it will always be loving. Your authentic voice has a place in this world and has been designed to be a valuable part of the sacred, sacred choir of soul voices which creates music for the universe. As you trust in your authentic voice, your ability to manifest your divine destiny will grow and your responsible use of the power of your voice will help many. I mean, so perfect, so perfect. Okay guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great weekend. Stay tuned, um, uh, I may be doing, I may be doing happy hour tonight or I might do it tomorrow, depending on how, um, how much energy I have. It actually makes sense to probably do it tomorrow because by the time I get home from, um, by the time I get home from Om Shanti tonight, I might just wanna relax. So stay tuned, I'm gonna make an announcement. It's either today, it's either tonight or tomorrow, but I think we're most likely leaning towards, oh, we're leaning towards tomorrow. Anyway, much love to you guys. Have a great weekend, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.